Hello. The other night at SF Scala, I gave a talk on processing and Scala. Processing is a graphics framework, uh, graphics and animation. And I was listed first, but I went last, and the other guys went a little bit long, so I didn't have time and, uh, to finish what I wanted to do, which was this group coding exercise. So if you want to see my talk there, I'm thinking it'll appear here on the Functional TV uh, YouTube channel along with a, a nice interview of me that Alexi did. Um, so take a look at that. But now I want to do this group coding exercise without the group because um, we didn't get very far. So the idea is I want to make uh, some kind of spiral staircase or just uh, some red stairs that go in a spiral inspired by the Scala logo here. Um, uh, okay, so let's do that. Here is how far we got. And just before I run this, I'm going to change this to um, not run in full screen mode because I want to match the recording here. So I'll use. Um, OK, so let's run this. See where that window lands. building. Here it comes. Okay, that actually lines up pretty close to where I want it. I'll move it here. Um, okay, so we have a single, this is where we left off. We have a single step. It's rendered in 3D here and we're building kind of from the top. And so what we want to do now is um, make a bunch of these and have them kind of wrap around a spiral. So um, here in the draw method, we're, um, so let's just show you, remind you or show you what this looks like. If you don't translate the origin, um, your, what you draw will be centered at the top left corner. So I want to bring that to the, to the origin, well not the origin, but to the middle of the screen on the x-axis and then uh, just with some margin down from the top on the y-axis. Right, so we've got the color, we've got a box. We need to put a loop around the box. So let's use four. And um, we'll calculate this in degrees. Uh, so for degrees, go from zero to 360 um, times four, because in the picture of EPFL, it looks like there are four turns. And then we'll go by 12 degrees at a time. OK, so that loop goes around this. And um, I think I might uh, run this now just to show you what we have. Actually, that's pointless because it's just going to do the same box in the same place. And now we want to rotate on Y. Just imagine a an axis going up in the center of that staircase. And we want to rotate by the degrees. Then we want to translate. Um, so that we are not drawing the each step at that on the axis. So we want to translate, we want to push it off to the right. Um, so that it's not in the center there. So translate by 200 on the X. And then we're going to use degree. We're going to reuse degrees as a Y translation value. So as we go, as we go around four times, we're going to descend. And so rotate and then the translate and then the fill. Oh, actually, the fill doesn't need to be inside the loop here, so let's move that up. Okay, and there's one more thing that's missing that you're going to find out when I run it. It's going to look uh, really weird. Here it goes. They're kind of all over the place. And um, instead of that, what we need is to what, what's happening is inside this loop, these transformations are accumulating. So we need to reset them after drawing each step. 
So I have a, um, well, we'll just use um, push matrix and pop matrix. Pop matrix. See if that solves it. <laughs> That's great. That is uh, not quite right, but yeah, I mean, it does seem to be um, a bunch of stairs. They're more than four revolutions. Um, okay, I think, right. Uh, I see my mistake here. That was a fun one to make. Um, when we rotate on Y, the rotate Y uh, method expects the angle in radians. And um, I computed it in, degree, in uh, degrees just because it was easier so we could use integers inside this four comprehension here. So let's turn the degrees into radians first. And there's a, a method that'll do that. And we'll need to get that from um, P applet. Okay, let's see now. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of what I was looking for. And then just finally, I want to have the thing um, rotate on and off if you press the space key. Um, or maybe I won't go that far, but let's turn on the rotation of the staircase in its entirety. A couple ways we could do it. One is we could have the rotation amount, um, the rotation angle be a function of what frame we're drawing. Uh, but then if we later add it, a feature where we can use the space key to pause the rotation, then that won't work. So I think we're going to go all the way with, um, with doing it um, by having a, a rotation variable. So let's create this here. And then when we draw, we are going to here uh, increment our rotation value. And so this happens every frame, which is like 30 times a second. So we want to increase this by some fraction of a radian, some small fraction of a radian. And I think uh, this should do the job. <clears throat> Okay, and then we need to rotate uh, on Y again by this amount. Okay, let's see if it spins now. Ha! <laughs> I'm glad I'm making these mistakes because <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> All right. So what am I doing wrong? What am I? What have I neglected to do? Uh, um, there's a, uh, I'm missing a call to, um, kind of clear the screen for each frame of animation. That'll be this. There we go. That's very nice. Uh, let's just add a, um, align the space key to, um, pause the animation or to start and stop it. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll save our rotating equals false. And then we'll add a, um, we'll override the key pressed method somewhere here. So we'll override key pressed and when the key is pressed, we'll just say, um, we'll just negate this. That takes care of that. Um, yeah, that might be all there is to it. No, we need the if. Let's put the if in. And that's going to go here. So if... 
we're rotating, then we will advance the rotation variable and we will do the rotation. So if, if this works right, then we should be able to pause it and then have it resume from exactly the same point. Okay, so it comes up static. Now I push the button, and there it goes. Push the button. Oh, okay, that didn't uh, that didn't work right. It didn't pause right where it was. How strange. Okay, so what have I done? Oh, we always want to rotate by the rotation amount. It's just that to pause it, we stop incrementing the rotation amount. Good. Well, another learning opportunity from my mistakes. Okay, here we go. So there's space and pressing space again now. Beautiful. Okay, great. So this is what I wanted to do in uh, with the group and maybe with some people doing it on their on their own computers. Um, so let's bring this over to here. So that was our group coding exercise. And the source code for this is already on GitHub here. Let's just go there, GitHub here. And then you go to Scala Lessons. And this is under Source and then Processing. And um, what did I call it here? Spiral Stairs. Yeah. Um, right, and this is similar to the one I just made, except I, I extended a, another, an abstract class, I think, that I have that gives me features like, um, I don't know if you can see this here, with, like, um, with pushed matrix. So this is a more um, Scala idiomatic way of um, wrapping the save and restore of a transformation matrix around some code. Okay, let me stop there.